What about the J feature on Talk Up? They've collaborated a few times before, Pound Cake, um, on his first project too. What do you think about this first? I could have done without this track. The whole track or? The whole track. Throw the whole shit away. Throw the whole track away? Really? Yeah, it, it just it, it just didn't feel like, again, my thing about Drake and Jay Feature, I know a lot of people love it because of course Jay's like the GOAT and of course Drake, right? But then it always feels like some mailed in shit. Like, all right, here's my verse. It's a kind of beat that feels old schoolish in a way, but still kind of current. Um, Dope, man. You do your verse, I do my verse. And it's like, yeah. You feel it, like that about all of their previous collabs, mailed in? For most of them, yes. Well, I mean, this one has got to be more recent because X has only passed, what, two weeks now? Mm -hmm. And he, like, Hove is talking about it on this. But this is what I was saying before, man. All of that shit that you were saying was directed at Drake. I don't think it was directed at Drake. I got a new theory about that. Huh? I got a new theory that, especially with some of the things you were saying about, he, I think it was the same record or maybe the record before. It might have been even emotionless, where he's talking about um, people making peace with him and seeing other people switch sides. I think now it's him and Jay versus Kanye. Before it was him and Kanye versus uh, Jay. I, it seemed like that. Yeah. And, I, and I'm only going off of Kanye going on stage basically saying, I want to work with Drake, and Jay doesn't want to let me work with Drake. And then Kanye, no, no, then Drake went on an interview to say, well, I would have had Kanye on Pop Style, but Jay wouldn't allow it to be on um, Title or wouldn't allow his verse to be on um, Apple Music. So, again... That's how I'm interpreting it. It feels like there was some subtle shots taken at Ye by Jay and also Drake. Again, what's the origin of that? If I'm reading between the lines from the lyrics, it seems like he's saying there's jealousy because of, you know, he had a line about paved roads and like I'm, sir, Pat, I'm breaking all the speed limits. I don't know. Kanye knows the strike is a, a, a jealous type of dude, but it feels like that's what Drake's describing. Like, somehow their relationship... And if you had to but, speculate, you thought this verse came sort of during this whole Kanye and Drake push-up thing, or months ago? Well, I think Jay's verse came probably like two weeks ago. But, or a week ago. But Drake, I mean... He he said that he doesn't strike you as a jealous dude. He said that on like would they say something like that on W Freestyle about him and Virgil? Right. Like he said something never like have a Virgil in yeah. Circle and not, yeah. He he did say that even when we seen the Billboard, everybody's like, oh, Fashion Week is your. It was on an R and B song. Everybody so thought he was talking about song. like look. Everybody thought he was talking about Virgil and all of them. He's like, Fashion Week is more your thing than mine. Whole time he's talking about a girl on a song, right? So, man, listen. This shit is the white flag album. It's just, it's too, it's, let me explain. It's, wow. it's, it's, I don't know, yo. It's good overall, even, like. Even though I could do without the whole song, Jay did have a very powerful line. He says, y'all kill X and y'all let Zimmerman live. Streets is done. Which, I mean, think about shit. <laughs> like, yeah, Zimmerman's walking around here still pissing off everybody who's colored. Yep. Nothing happened to him. At least, well, somebody tried to murk him, but that guy was white. <laughs> Say colored. <laughs> but <laughs> obviously, we saw what happened to X. So I, I thought he, uh, Jay, did have like like a couple powerful lines. But the, the whole song, like, I never listened to them and be like, "Yo, shit!" They're like snapping back and forth. It's so it always feels like even light up, light up, pound cake. I feel like they're just kind of. I really like Give Pound Cake. I thought it worked well. All of, no, like, well. of their collabs has been dope. Like, I thought they go back and forth on that real this, well. This is not, to I, I, I'll put this one at the bottom of all their collabs, but all their collabs have always been, except for fucking um, We Off That. The all shit that? that was on, oh. yeah, that was horrible. Fresh. Yeah, that shit was horrible, but that was like 10 years ago too, like, you know? Mm. Yeah, that's how old Blueprint 3 is. Well, again, the track's all right to me. I could I could have done with that. If I was going to crunch it down, I would have removed this one. I would have removed a couple from the singing part of the album. You know when you were saying that you felt the singing part of the album was more like genuine type of thing? When I was going into hearing Drake sing on a whole album, I remember his cuts like Girls of Beyonce. I remember his cuts like Days in the East. I even remember, um, like, which was on his last album, I think My Side, like, we wanted that type of vibe. I wanted, like, like Atlanta, the, I wanted Houston, Atlanta, Vegas. You can take it back, but I just, I wanted, like, okay. Houston, Atlanta, Vegas, Drake, like. I wanted jungle, that type of stuff, and, and 
Mm, these were kind of lukewarm, but I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I need, so wait, I hold, on, hold on, hold on. No, yeah, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, 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 no, no.